welcome back. Yes, you are back with your boy Scotius, and we are in the Ultra League right now. We was leading with our Cresselia into their Swampert. They didn't want no smoke, so they swapped out into their Skeledurge. So now we've swapped out into our own Swampert, offloading the Hydro Cannon. They've shielded that. They respect that Shadow Swampert. And now we're gonna shield back their Shadow Ball. Now we're just stacking up energy extras and then offloading another Hydro. Do they want to two shield this? Let's see. They let that go, that does big damage. And now they bring in Trevenant. That's absolutely fine because Swampert can still chip it. They're always gonna try and build up extra energy. So Swampert will just bring it down low with them Hydros. Let's see what our vibe is adding up. As you can see, the Hydros are adding up. So let's see what they wanna do here. They're gonna have to throw now. And here they do. And look where the Trevenant is. They probably thought we had something in the back that's going to be able to farm it down, but no, we don't actually have a strong answer to Trevenant. And now we come in with our Reggie Steel, and we're going to shield up the first Shallow Water and then see what they want to do from there. Shielding out. And they swap out into their Swampert. Our Reggie Steel has energy banked as we come in with our Cresselia. Swampert can throw what he wants to throw. Hydro tickles. We don't mind that. We're just stacking up extras. All right, and now offloading that grass knot. They should be shielding this. They do. Now stacking again. And they should be throwing the EQ here. Cresselia still won't mind that, as you can see. And now we're just gonna stack extra energy here and then offload. This will be taken out. Their Swampert, bye bye. Bring back that Trevenant offload again. They know that this one's a wrap. And that's looking to be GG's. Nicely done. Taking that W, let's move swiftly on into the next one. Who's it gonna be? We're about to see. All right, faced up against a Dragonite. We don't mind this. Let's go. All you have to do is watch out for a potential catch. So we're letting them throw first here. Dragon Claw, that's fine. All right, offloading, but we're throwing the grass not to bait them. We know they're going to shield. So it's a safe bait, there you go. And now we can just stack up some extra energy. Letting them throw first once again. Shielding up here as they've used the shield and now they swap out into Skeledoge. Okay, people seem to like safe swapping Skeledoge. Okay. Anyway, they're met by our Swamper. Now we offload that Hydro does big damage and we don't need to shield anything back. We could just let this go and then mud shut it down. Let's go. And then we have a Hydro to go for whatever's in the back, if need be, but it's a Jellison. So we build up and offload an EQ, which will do big damage, of course. Nice. Let's go, man. All right. Now there, Jellison is met by our Reggie Steel. Let's go. They're going to throw Shadow Ball. They're gonna see how tanky Reggie still is. Offloading the big boy Zap. And then they swap out, knowing that we <laughs> was definitely gonna snipe them so they catch the grass knot, but still, that's not gonna help them very much as we build up to the moon blast. And this one will wrap up their dragon out, of course, bye bye. All right, and then they're gonna go for the full farm down. We're not gonna reach, unfortunately. All right, but Reggie still is thick. They should be throwing Shadow Ball here, but it's like they wanna bait us. So they go for the surf, and that's not gonna do it, my friend. This is Reggie Steel. And then they're gonna go for the bait again, thinking that we're gonna use a shield now. But no, that is not gonna do it, my friend. And that there cost you the game. 
And this big boy, Zap, will take out the Jello Center. That is GG's. All right. Taking that W, let's move swiftly on into the next one. Let's go. All right. Cresselia mirror match. Some would say this is like watching paint dry. Something like a licky tongue mirror match. Something like an Umbreon mirror match. But we're gonna play it out and see what the vibe is. Okay, trading Moonblast. They are with the CMP. Doki. And more times than not, our Cresselia does always win the mirror match. So. Let's see how this one plays out, shall we? Offloading. Okay. As we approach the red zone, let's see how this will play out. The switch could play a big part in this matchup. So, hopefully we can take it without using a shield. They are very low. And now we're gonna have to psycho cut down. That's what it's gonna be now. We will survive this, of course, too. And now it's a psycho cut down. Yes, as we survive with like 0 0.5 HP, we blind through the grass, not. And it's good because it's a water type for alligator and they shield. That's good for us. And now we come in Reggie still and we are looking good. Like we said, winning that Cresselia mirror match would come in crucial. We shield here, not like we had to, but they've made use of one, so we do too. Now offloading the big boys up, and they have to make a big decision here because this will one shot. Why oi Let's go. And then they come in Telefame and that's a wrap as they see our Shadow Swampert. GG's. Taking that W, let's move swiftly on into the next one. You know the vibes. Okay, faced up against a Dragonite. Familiar lead. And let's see. As per usual, we just gotta watch out for a catch. And we'll let them throw. Alright. Baiting with the grass knot. High potential of getting the shield, which we do. All right, now we just stack in. And then they swap out trying to catch, but they try to catch too early onto their Gengar. We meet them with our Swampert. Let's go. We're gonna shield this up and look to stack some extra energy. They full Shen Shadow Ball. We just stack in. Maybe they're not running Shadow Punch. We're offloading. All right, that Hydro takes out. There, Gengo, of course, and then we just throw the Hydro back to back. This one onto their Dragonite, and that does some big damage. Respectable. The Dragonite is very low. We go for the Claw, we survive it, but we can't get off another Hydro, unfortunately. And then we snipe them quickly with the Moon Blast. Not wasting any time. The switch got worked quite up yet, so it was safe to throw it. And in the back, they have for Alligator purified and we are ready to offload the big boy zap on to them we don't mind the hydro we don't mind reggie still built too different offloading the big boy zap had it feeling like big damage they know this one's a wrap they know that's good that's good now they finally top left g g's and we are Swiftly moving on into the last one. Let's get it. All right. Faced up against a Crobat. Okay. Okay. You don't see this too much in the open ultra. But let's see how we're going to vibe. We're stacking extra energy. They're going to throw first. We're going to no shield. 
just a poison fang. That's absolutely fine. Offloading the moon blast. They may think this is future sight. They did, then that gets us the shield. Let's go. Alright, stacking. And now we offload another moon blast. Any chip is better than no chip. And Cresselia is built different. So let's vibe. Alright. Now they probably will want to full set the Shadow Ball. Yeah, they do, but Cresselia is just built too different. So survives that and gets off another moon blast. Let's go. And the Psycho Cuts will take out the Crowbat. Let's go. And we didn't have to use a shield. In the back, they come in from Greninja. Okay, this one's a wrap and that was the last battle. Thank you guys for coming by once again. You all take care now. Peace.